Thailand Securities and Exchange Commission has written to Zipmex Thailand CEO Akala Yimvelai pointing out that some of the exchange's operations may violate digital asset rules. According to the report, Zipmex Asia PTE is being acquired for approximately $100 million by V Ventures, a subsidiary of Thorisin Thai Agency's PCL. Zipmex stopped allowing customers to withdraw their tokens in July, citing volatile market conditions and financial difficulties with its partners. Thailand has since tightened its oversight of digital assets after authorities were chastised for failing to protect Zipmex local investors. As Gala announced a collaboration with Dwayne Johnson and Mark Wahlberg, the price of Gala had increased by more than 143% on January 10 and by more than 60% in 2022. It contributed to the Gala token's 121% increase in four days. Gala Games announced the acquisition of a mobile game studio with over 20 million users on January 6. The total revenue of the studio surpassed $100 million and several games are currently available in the App Store. However, the token fell after Gala Games deleted the tweet announcing the partnership. There has been no response from the Gala Games or Dwayne Johnson. Bharat was India's first metaverse platform signed a memorandum of understanding with Pune's Raja Dinkar Kelka Museum on January 10th, making it the first Indian museum to go to the metaverse route. According to a statement from Bharat Wars, the platform aims to create digital twin places of special interest that can be visited by people all over the world and help to promote such sites. Users will be able to access the metaverse experience via head-mounted devices, mobile phones, web browsers and so on. To begin, the museum's existing 3D virtual tour, created with the assistance of noted ophthalmologist Dr. Srikant Kelkar, will be hosted on the Bharat Wars platform. That's all in the news today. This is me, Vishakha, signing off. For more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel.